Kwenye taarifa ya huzuni mtazamaji mwathiri wa moja wa ajali ya barabarani anahangaika baada ya madaktari humu nchini kumwarifu kuwa jeraha lake aliwezi kutibiwa humu nchini. Efras Ndumia wa umri wa miaka 21 alipata ajali mwezi Novemba mwaka jana mjini Mombasa na kupelekea kuvunjika kwa mguu wake wa kushoto. Msichana huyu amelazwa katika hospitali ya Gakan jijini Nairobi na yeye hapa simulizi kumhusu. Ni katika mojawepo ya vyumba wanamolazwa wa wagonjwa katika hospitali ya Gakan jijini Nairobi. Kitandani Efras Ndumia wa umri wa miaka 21 anaonekana mwenye wingi wa masikitiko na mahangaiko. Mguu wake wa kushoto ndio kiini cha kuseneneka kwa binti huyu. Efaras alijipata katika hali hii kufuatia ajali ya barabarani iliyofanyika mwezi Novemba mwaka uliopita jijini Mombasa. Anaeleza jinsi maisha yalivyobadilika ghafla binvu na kumfungulia ukurasa wa dhiki ya sijui lini na nani atakayefunga ukurasa huo. On 2nd of November 2017 on Thursday as I was coming from class in the evening I got hit by a car and then I was taken to Coast Provincial General Hospital where I stayed for three and a half months. I got discharged but the leg was very bad. I we sought further treatment. Up to now I have been admitted but the pain is very much the medication as the medication is okay, but the leg is just very, very, it's very painful, very, very painful. Masibu yake ya lizidi baada ya kufahamishwa kuwa jiraha kwenye mgu wake, lilikuwa baya kiasi kwamba madaktari humu nchini hawakuwa na suluhu. Hali hii sasa inamkosesha usingizi binti huyu, giza kuu ikiendelea kuziba siku zake za usoni. I, I have been fixed with external fixators which are very painful. We are seeking to have further treatment because the doctors have said it is, it is somehow impossible to do it here. They need bone, bone fixation, but currently it's very, it is going to be impossible here. That is why we are appealing for funds to seek further medication outside the country. Mamake anafahamu fika bayana ya msemu uchungu wa mwana ujua mzazi. Anakiri madhila waliupitia kama familia tangu mwanawe ya lipuusika kwenye ajali hiyo. Tumekua na kata mgumu kutafuta fedha. Sasa ile masomo yake ilikatichwa na hiyo ajali. Fenye ilikuwa ni, ni, ilimfanyia mandara sana. Hamekau kwa Mombasa Coast and Hospital kwa mesi mitatu na nusu. Yo lafiki mwingine akatuelekeza hapa Gakan na tagwa leto hapa Gakan amekaa kwa kutoka mwezi wa 4 tarehe 4 na tagu siku hiyo amekuwa bedridden na pesa imekuwa imeenda juu sana ni kama kitu milioni kumi sasa kutoka siku ile alilaswa hapa kama ni operation mama mfanyia kama 12 hivi hata jana alikuwa operating na tumeshidwa sana kifedha sababu hata kusoma kwake tulikuwa tumafanya fadrizi ndio aigie shule ni mtoto mwelefu na alikuwa na fusha yake alikuwa na, na maono kwa hivyo tukaona tukimkatishia masomo tutakuwa tumemfanyia vibaya Efaras anatarajia kufanyiwa operation ambapo atayekewa mfupa mpya maarufu bone marrow transplant Zwezi hili litafanyika nchini India na litagarimu shilingi milioni tano. Ni kiwango ambacho familia hii haina uwezo kupata na Efaras mwenyewe anatua wito kwako kumfa wakati wa itajilaki. Fellow Kenyans, wherever you are watching me from, I would like you to help me to work again. Wherever you are, any amount you contribute, nothing is small. Your hard red bob can make me work again. If the president is watching right now, I'm one of your Kenyans, I'm one of your citizens, I love this country, I would like to do something for my country, but currently I can't walk, I can't start, I can't do anything on my own. I'm just appealing any person watching right now, the governors, the senators, just someone. If God touches you, please help me, I'll be very much grateful. 
I will also, if I can walk again, even I can help others. We, right now we are seeking further treatment in India, but we don't have finances. It has been a very agonizing journey up to now. But I just hope someone somewhere who is watching me will be touched by the story. And then you can help me just any amount. I'm not asking for much. Anything that God helps you with, you can help me walk again. Dedake masindumiana mama mzazi aidha wanakusihi kwa kumbuka kwa msaada wote ule ili waweze kuyokuwa maisha ya kipenzi chao. Kwa hivyo tunomba wa isani wema, wenye wana tutasama sahi, wenye wana weza tusaidia, wapisaidia, kupitia pibili namba yenye tuko na yo, account name ni Efras, Efras Medical Father, pibili namba ni 4969262. Pesa inye tuna omba kupata ni like 5 million kwa sababu ya iyo matibabu. Na tukipata, haludi kwa maisha haki ya kawaida, tutashukuru na tutasema ni asante. Na minikweli kwa mba undugu ni kufana mtazamaji na ni vizuri vile vile. Weze kuchukua mzigo huo ili weze kumsaidia bintu huyu ambaye anaitaji kufanyua matibabu katika inchi ya India. Na kama vile ambavyo mesema, na ambari ya kuweza kumsaidia ni account number majina ya account ni efference na kisha baadaye nambari hiyo ni 4969269626 yani 4969926 jina ni efference medical fund na mtazamaji ukifanya hivyo bila shaka utakuwa umechangia katika kuweza kuokoa maisha ya binti huyu